We're out on Hathaway Lake. We're doing a bit of kokanee fishing. Um, might be some bourbon in the mix, but hopefully just kokanee. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have some fun. So today, for my jig, I'm just using a small forge jig. It's our truce orange and white, and it's got a bit longer of a shank, so I like to use it. I think it um, gets better, I, I think it um, hooks the fish a bit better, and I like it. Now for my flasher, I'm using a dogtail dodger. Um, it's gold, silver, and pink. I find it attracts them in really well. It flashes, especially if you bend it. Um, it flashes quite a bit, so uh, that's another good flasher I'd like to use. Right now, um, for bait, we're just using these pink maggots, and we're just putting the shrimp gel on. It just helps helps the bite, it triggers the fish. And right now, we're just fishing at about 45 feet. Most of the fish, when it's later in the day, they're a bit down deeper, because the water gets a bit warmer later in the day. So down below the thermic line which is generally at 20 feet it gets a bit um colder and kokanee are cold water fish so yeah we're just fishing there and we've already had a couple bites so hopefully we can get some okay so right now there is a huge school of fish uh, I think it's a lot of juvenile kokanee, but I'm sure there's some bigger ones in there. Um, it's basically my fish finder just filled up from 20 and up. But yeah, there's a lot of fish right now, so hopefully we get one. But I think if we don't, it's because it's um, juvenile kokanee and it's a school them. Oh, I missed one. So it's not all juveniles because I just missed one, but yeah, so hopefully we get one here. They're biting pretty good today. All right, they're all gone, so I'm guessing most of them were juveniles, but who knows? I'm gonna reel up and check my bait. That seems cool is in again so hopefully we're gonna catch one here it's kind of gonna drop into the middle of it and hopefully they get aggressive and bite again i'm pretty sure it's all juvenile kokanee but i'm not quite sure i can tell there's some bigger ones the bigger ones might be feeding on the smaller ones i'm not sure still a couple fish but i think the juveniles moved out now it's just the bigger ones Still a bit of juveniles, but they're dropping down. Um, all these fish are about uh, zero to 40, really. They're pretty much everywhere. Um, they're slowly dropping down further past 40, but are kind of disappearing. Yeah, like now they're gone, so I think it was all small ones, but I'm not quite sure. We've been out here for almost an hour now. Uh, we got a couple bites, but I haven't been able to capitalize on any of the fish. There's been a lot of stuff showing up on the fish finder, but they've been a bit picky today, so I'm not sure what to throw at them. But we're trying different things, so yeah, hopefully we can get one. Out here for about two hours or an hour and 
I've been out here too long, but uh, we're marking quite a bit. I haven't got any more bites, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can catch some. Um, right now we're not marking anything, but doesn't mean they won't come in. Or I don't know, I might start pounding bottom for burbot. I've already had a burbot bite once, so I don't know. Okay, so there's a fish on me right now. There we go. Hook out. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a nice size kokanee. I'll uh, put her on the GoPro for a second here. Um, yeah. This one bit pretty much instantly. Um, just gonna get that set up again. Oh, perfect. It's got the hook. So, I'll show you guys the fish real quick. So, um, there we go. There's a nice kokanee at Hathaway Lake. Yeah, decent size. Perfect for the uh, smoker. Okay, so that was a single, which I find usually singles, usually they don't bite as much, just because when there's a school, um, it's kind of like a rush to get the bait, because they don't want their other friends getting it. So usually if it's just a single, you gotta have what they like for them to bite. But that guy obviously liked what I had. He bit it. Uh, this, the jig that I got on here, this was my first kokanee on this rod. And I'm using a new jig um, that the senior regional biologist actually tied me. And yeah, it definitely works. So I'm excited. So the last you guys saw me, I had one kokanee on the ice. But I've since now gotten two. Um, I'll hold it up for you guys. Since now gotten two. Uh, one's 34 centimeters, and the other is 32 centimeters. Um, so they're both a good size. But yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to gut them. And yeah, so the reason you guys didn't see the second one is because the GoPro died, and the camera also died, and the other GoPro died. So everything was dead because I don't know. I think the cold. I think with the cold, the batteries die quite faster more fast so yeah so all you need is a fillet knife um you just kind of want a long sharp flexible fillet knife and then you will want a sharpening stone or just a knife sharpener just anything -y there and now you're just going to sharpen your knife I uh, do it about six times through the steel, I think, and nine times through the ceramic. I don't know. Don't quote me on that being steel. I have to check. I don't know if that's nine times or not, but I'm sure it's good enough. Okay. So now, we're just going to grab one of our kokanee. We're just going to rinse them off. Just going to rinse them off and sink. So now, some people don't do this, but I am going to, I'm just going to scale it. A lot of people actually don't, but I prefer to. I don't like, um, I don't like scales on my kokanee when I go to eat them. So I'm just going to take all of the scales off. You don't have to, I just prefer to. And sometimes the scales aren't veil very appealing to your mouth they're a bit scratchy and stuff and just unpleasant to have when you're eating them so luckily I only got two now I don't really have to scale and flay too many so yeah all you do is you run against the scales so you'll be able to feel you'll be able to feel the um, scales they kind of just go along with the head so you go against towards the head and yeah all the scales will come off but you want to make sure before you start filleting you can see all the all the um, scales on my knife you just want to take those off 
So you don't really want those in your fillet. I'm still gonna rinse my fillets, it's just, yeah. So now all you do is you cut as close as you can behind the fin here. Then you just chop down, you go out. You wanna turn pretty much right away because you don't really wanna get into the guts too much, but you also don't wanna waste the meat. So you're gonna go just until it pokes up right about here, then you just start to make your cut up. And now, there you go. Nice, kokanee filet there. Um, this meat's pretty um, red. Uh, so yeah, just rinsing it right now. Um, yeah, see, nice filet. Usually they're quite a bit more red, but right now, um, I don't know why, Our, ours and Hathaway Lake just aren't as red. Now I'm just going to put these right there. So now, once your fillet is a bit dry, it doesn't have to be completely dry. There. You can just put it into your bag, frozen coconut, or you can save it on a paper towel and eat it for lunch or dinner, whatever. Um, yeah, or breakfast, I guess, depending on if you went out before breakfast. Usually I go after breakfast, so I generally don't have them for breakfast. So again, you just want to cut close to the fin. You want to chop down just about a centimeter or so, just so you don't run into the guts, because you don't want to have a fillet with a whole bunch of guts on it. And then you just run your knife at um, a bit of an angle. You just kind of want to run it like this just so you're constantly running along the spine and you're not wasting any meat. See? Love it. We cleared out that right along the spine there. We cleared out that fillet quite well. There's a nice another kokanee fillet there. Now, just going to put that in the bag. Now we're just going to put this back in the sink just because everything gets rinsed and stuff. I'll put them outside in a box for, I don't know, any animals. There we go, another kokanee. Now that's um, both kokanee filleted. Yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, yeah, so we gutted those fish. Um, well, filleted them. Uh, I hope you guys learned how to, or maybe you learned a better technique, or maybe you didn't scale them before, and now you want to try scaling them. Um, or maybe you learned, I don't know, like a different jigging technique, or 
maybe the lures that I showed you guys, maybe you guys want to try now and buy them at your local tackle sh shop or store, whatever you guys call them. So we'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, see you guys later.